Hey guys, Eric here with the Savvy Campers. Today, we're going to show you how to fix your water heater if your water heater is not working. Whether you have a propane water heater or a 120 volt slash propane water heater, we're gonna show you some tips to troubleshoot it so that when you're out camping, you know what to look for if you don't have hot water. So before we get started, make sure to like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about uh, travel trailers, troubleshooting, upgrades, things like that. And if you have other questions, comment as well and we can be sure to help answer your questions. So let's get started. So the water heater on your RV or travel trailer or camper may be 120 volt or just 12 volt propane powered. and Typically they are always propane, but then some of them have electric. So um, let's first off talk about troubleshooting your travel trailer hot water tank if you're plugged into electric. So basically all you have to do is flip this switch and then the heater will turn on. Um, sometimes you can get a DSI fault right there and that will blink and then um, basically that means that light typically is for the gas side but um, DSI if it's on gas, or if it's a fault if it's on electric. So if that is flashing, obviously there's probably something wrong. So if, if you're trying to uh, turn your heater on while you're plugged into power, make sure you have power. Make sure that your main switch is on for your breaker and make sure your water heater breaker is on too. If one of these is tripped or off, obviously you won't have power. And if you're not actually plugged in or your pedestal you're plugged into doesn't have power, well then your 120 volt water heater is not going to work. So the next item to look for when troubleshooting your water heater would be, um, you've got a element right here. So that element is a heating element when you're on 110 and it heats it up to provide hot water. So you can actually take these off and use an ohm meter to test um, and also your control board there. We had a faulty control board last year, so this could be a reason that your water heater is not working. If you have power, you're plugged in, your breakers aren't working, this is the spot to go. And most dealers can test these if you, like what we did was we took ours off and they tested it for free. And if it was bad, we can just go online and replace it. Um, the heating elements you can get online, they're fairly cheap. So if your travel trailer is five years old or so, you might just wanna replace that anyways and that might solve your problem. But so the first item to look for if your propane side of your water heater is not working is check your fuses. So your propane side would run off a, a 12 volt to control it. So make sure all of your fuses are good. You might have a propane, um, fuse but typically it's located on something else because it doesn't draw that much power so make sure that all these fuses are good the next item we're going to look for is check the actual propane tank you might be out of propane and uh, make sure your tank's on make sure you have propane and make sure your propane selector valve if you have multiple tanks is turned to the right tank and one tip that we try to tell everyone is uh, you can actually turn both propane tanks on and have the switch in the middle to pull from both. But we like to always just turn one on, have the selector turn to that tank, and then when that tank's gone, you know it's gone, so you flip over to the other tank, and then you know when to fill up propane in your empty one because it's empty and you know you have a new tank left. So you can go fill it up so you're never caught in the middle of the night without propane. The next item to check would be check your battery voltage. So. It's quick and easy, you just push the battery button and you can check that. Um, you might have a little fancier, let's see if, yeah, a fancier way to do it. We have another readout that we can check our voltage, but this is quick and simple. Push the button. If you're on E, yeah, might not be working. The next item to check would be, check your igniter. So our igniter is actually right in there. Um, it's basically this guy goes down and it'll ignite the propane and check to make sure that's sparking because if that's not sparking then your propane water heater is not going to light so let's turn that on real quick and show you what it does so if you can see you can hear that click and you can kind of see see the spark in there so it just sparked it didn't light our propane is off um, so that's why it's not working 
Okay, I just flipped that off so it wasn't clicking in the background. Um, so what you can do is you can pull this piece off and you can actually pull it off from here if you want and then take some sandpaper and sand um, both rods to make sure that they're clean and free of debris. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that second. There's the, t okay, there's the two rods. So you can see, see the two rods and one sparks on the other one. Um, so if there's no spark, then you're not going to have a light. On our model, uh, this is also our flame sensor. So another thing to check would be your flame sensor. So basically it's doing the same thing. So take it off and sand it. If either rod is dusty or has soot on it, um, that's not going to work. And then the flame sensor is not going to um, sense the flame, therefore it's going to turn right off. And the way that you can tell if it's a flame sensor is if it kicks on and it fires and then it turns off maybe after 15 or so seconds, you'll know it's your flame sensor. So um, sanding that can um, help out and make it work. Last year our water heater went out right at the beginning of one of our camping trips. So it worked on 110 but it did not work on um, propane. So we did everything that we needed to do to troubleshoot. We took these off, sanded them, we, we tested ohms on it, it was fine. So what it was, was it was actually the control board. And when I took it to the dealer, I took the control board off because they didn't have an appointment and they checked it for free. So next time that you have a problem, take it off, go talk to the service guys and they can check it for free. Typically, obviously you don't need to make a big appointment, bring your travel trailer in and pay a service charge. So um, take your board in and they can test it and tell you if it's in fact the board that's faulty. And so another item to look for is make sure that there's no debris or bugs in there or in the exhaust there. And so if a bee builds a nest in there or anything like that, your exhaust or your intake is going to be clogged and it's not going to burn properly and it may not work at all. So just another thing to keep free of bees and debris. All right, so that is it. That is a few tips on how to troubleshoot your water heater on your RV or travel trailer. Hopefully it helps you out next time you're camping and hopefully you don't have any issues and hopefully you have service and you can watch this video so you can go ahead and um, troubleshoot yourself. And on our model, you might have a little guide here that tells you how to do it, um, how to troubleshoot and what to look for. Um, for example here, before replacing circuit board, remove and clean connections to circuit board ignition sense probe. Also check for a short in the valve or light wiring that may have blown a track on the board. Um, so that'll give you some hints too about troubleshooting your unit and your board. So if you liked this video and you found it helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe so that you can stay tuned to all the upcoming videos that we have, as well as our previous videos that you might find helpful. Thanks for watching, we'll see you at the campground.